Alright, this is one of my favorite things to do. I don't know why, it's just very methodic and uh, it's really just kind of strange that I like to calculate molar mass of compounds. But um, we've kind of been noticing in the previous um, couple of videos and slides here that when we look at a compound, it is made up of smaller things, in this case atoms, and that the ratio of those atoms to each other is also proportional to the compound, whether we're looking at atoms to a formula unit or molecule, or if we're looking at moles of elements to moles of their compound, that, that ratio holds, okay, um, which means that if I want to find the mass of the compound, it should be equal to the sum of the masses of everything inside in the same ratio that they are represented in. Okay, you can think about this like the mass of your book bag is going to be the sum of the individual masses of the stuff inside your book bag. Okay, so take out, it's the mass of that um, chemistry textbook because you should be definitely studying chemistry, right? Um, your calculator in there or whatever else you keep in there, if you add up all the individual masses, you should get the total mass. Okay, same thing here. So if I look at the uh, formula for potassium chromate, okay, K2CRO4, <clears throat> I know that every one mole of potassium chromate has two moles of potassium, one mole of chromium, and four moles of oxygen. So if I were to take the mass of all of these and keep them in the same ratio, I can add them up to find the molar mass. Okay, and you read earlier in these slides that the mass of any specific element, like one atom of that element, comes from the mass on the periodic table. Okay, so it, the mass of each of these elements is listed on the periodic table here. Um, we have now been able to say that this is the number of grams per one mole of that substance, and before we were stuck saying AMUs. So we can actually find the molar mass. So that's moles and grams, so that's where we get grams per mole. Okay, as our units. That's an exclamation point. Uh, by adding up all of the masses of the stuff inside. So the way that I do this is I take my formula and I write out my elements. Okay, so here I've got potassium, chromium, and oxygen. Okay, I find the mass of each of these elements. So I'm gonna look on the periodic table and potassium's got a mass and you know, you can round them to two decimal places. All right, here I've got 39.0983. So I'm going to do 39.1, uh, we'll just do 0 0.1, okay, because 098 would round up to that, okay. And that's grams per mole, because so that's a molar mass of potassium. I can look at chromium as a molar mass of 51.9961, so I'm, I'm going to say that that's 52 grams per mole. And notice how I kept that out to two decimal places. So I rounded it up, and that just keeps those as placeholders. It lets me know it's pretty exact. Okay. Um, for oxygen, if you look at oxygen on the periodic table, it's 15.9994. We round that up to an even 16 for similar reasons as this. So I'm going to write 16.00 grams per mole. All right. Once I've got that information from the periodic table, I'm done with the periodic table. Then what I do is I take the subscripts from the um, formula and multiply each of my molar masses for my elements by how abundant they are in that formula. So if I've got two potassiums here, I'm going to have twice that mass. Okay, I've got one chromium, so I'm going to have one times that mass. I'll go ahead and write that out here. Okay, and I've got four oxygens. So I'm going to have four times the mass of oxygen, okay? So what I do then, okay, let's go ahead and bring out your units. Okay, so let's see, we should get 78.2 or so. Yep, 78.20 grams per mole still, okay? Here I've got 16 times 4, okay? So we got 16 times 4. Got 64, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so you get 64 on the dot. Okay, so <clears throat> for potassium chromate, 
72.0 grams per mole come from potassium, 52 grams per mole come from chromium, and 64 grams per mole come from oxygen. So the total, so once I've done that, then I just set it up like a nice pretty addition problem and add a, up my numbers. Okay, so I've got, that's 12, 19, so 194.2 grams per mole. This is the molar mass of potassium chromate, meaning if I have one mole of potassium chromate, it should weigh 194.2 grams, okay? Now you could either set it up like this and add it by, your, by hand, or you can plug everything into your calculator. You get 194.2 either way. You can see that, there you go. All right.